Imagine this fall not having to clean up rotting apples covered in wasps. Imagine not having the dog vomit smell of rotting ginkgo fruit being tracked indoors. Imagine not stepping on sweet gum seed pods and being able to enjoy your lawn and patio. This little bottle of Florel may not look like much, but it's very powerful. As far as horticulture chemicals go, it's a miracle worker. It can stop many trees from producing fruit. It can eliminate mistletoe. It promotes flowers and bromeliads. It promotes new branches on small flower cuttings. It's been available for about 25 years, but outside of greenhouse employees, few people have heard of it and what it can do. Florel is a natural growth regulator. It breaks down in and on the plant into ethylene, which is a gas. Ethylene is found in all plant cells, but also being a gas, it's continually escaping the plant. It affects cell growth and cell shape, such as preventing leaves from expanding until they have enough light. When tree trunk cells flex in the wind, ethylene production causes thicker cell walls. Ethylene gas builds up in fruit, causing the fruit to ripen and release the seeds. Ethylene gas from a ripe apple or banana in a bag with green tomatoes will cause the tomatoes to ripen faster. Wholesale storage units that keep fruit for months at a time before selling it to our grocery stores need to continuously remove ethylene gas or else the fruit would finish ripening and begin to rot while in storage. As I say, for all household and horticulture products, read the directions and do as they say. This is especially important with Florel because applying it at the wrong time or in the wrong amount, or when something is already causing stress to the plant, it can cause big problems. To reduce or eliminate fruit on apples, crab apples, carob, elm, flowering pear, like Bradford pear, flowering plum, horse chestnut, which is buckeye, oak, olive, sour orange, sweet gum, sycamore, and others, Florel must be applied when the plant is in bloom, not after fruit has started to grow. I do not see ginkgo listed on the label, but I have seen it recommended by Extension Service scientists. Florel doesn't move much in the plant, so untreated branches on the other side of the tree trunk may, not, may still produce fruit if you didn't spray there, and tall trees are hard to treat. Mistletoe is a parasitic plant that may just be ugly on your trees, but in large amounts it can kill a tree. Florel eliminates both dwarf mistletoe and leafy mistletoe. Depending on the host plant, it can be applied in the spring or fall. If you have any of the common bromeliad species as house plants, a florel spray will induce flowering. If you're growing daffodils or hyacinths in pots, they tend to grow too tall and fall over. A florel spray will keep the stems short. If you're growing cuttings of your own plants of begonia, chrysanthemum, fuchsia, geranium, sweet potato, uh, lantana, new guinea impatiens, poinsettia, or vinca vine, or periwinkle, Florel will increase the lateral branching for a denser plant. The plants will eventually flower like usual, but with a lot more branches, there'll be a lot more flowers. Make sure you read the label. There are instructions for using Florel to grow hybrids of cantaloupes, cucumbers, pumpkins, and squash. But those same sections say do not use it on any crops that you're planning to eat the fruit. It's for hybrid seed production only. I plan on treating some potted citrus trees with Florel. It may cause the trees to drop their flowers and not produce fruit this year. But if the trees grow a lot more branches, then there'll be a lot more flowers and fruit in the future. I do have to say, as a caveat at the end here, Monterey, the company that makes this, you probably never heard of me. I bought this on my own, and I'm just telling you all this information because I think it's good for you to know, and I'm not getting paid or anything from the company or anybody else to tell you about this. And wait a minute. I almost forgot. I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you that the Green Review Gardening book is now available on Amazon. You can go to Amazon.com, follow the link down in the description, and you can find the book. I don't know how things work on Amazon, but as soon as they put it up for sale, they put it on sale for less money. So you should really check this out. I don't know how long the sale lasts. I don't even know how it started. So go there, buy the book. If you can't remember all that, go to thegreenreview.com. You can find out information about the soft cover book and about the PDF version of the book. And you can follow links there to be able to get wherever you need to go. Thanks for watching.